That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys, we're joined here outside 77 Kingsway. This is the one of the buildings of Elbit Systems. These or this company supplies the most amount of arms to the state of Israel. Yeah, and I'm sure uh, many of you guys probably haven't even heard of Elbit Systems. I have to say before this whole issue um, in the previous years, I haven't been too privy about this as well. But uh, you have groups like Palestine Action, they've been protesting out here and they have been trying to raise awareness as we're trying to do as well. Yeah, and having knowledge like this about Elbit Systems and how, like Ali was saying, um, the fact that Elbit Systems is even allowed to supply weapons to a terrorist state because we have to be real, Israel is a terrorist state. Yeah, there's ample evidence and academia and facts and case studies that it's just simply become illogical not to call them a terrorist state. I mean, we, we have to be realistic about these things. Yeah, and why the United Kingdom is allowing companies like this, facilitating, aiding companies like this, this is something that they need to uh, answer for. Yeah, and the only way they can answer for it is if they know and if people like us know that it even exists. Now, even if you look at the building, and you asked the security outside, we did, and he said, no, uh, they've moved from here. We know for a fact they, they haven't, yeah? This is Elbit Systems, but it just doesn't have the insignia. It doesn't have a big double M sign like McDonald's does. Yeah, it's not in your face. It's just subtle, yeah? So I'm just going to pass it on to Ali, who's going to I mean, I mean it's thoughts. quite interesting, brothers and sisters. To be honest, this is where exactly one of the uh, headquarters are, brothers and sisters, besides Leicester. It's very interesting because the thing is, what you see behind us, brothers and sisters, that all of these weapons on these tanks okay so all of these so-called clashes yeah which you can see brothers and sisters behind me anytime you see an injured person behind me brothers and sisters be it on the news media or it's not anytime you see an injured person like this brothers and sisters a toddler killed just a baby know that not a, toddler, baby, baby. a baby a baby being killed brothers and sisters, look at that just know that their systems are being made here in the uk do not look at israel or, or, or somewhere else they are being manufactured in the UK, brothers and sisters, these systems. Just imagine for a second. We know the atrocities ISIS caused all of us, Muslim and non-Muslim. They were a nightmare and thank God, God has saved us from them. Now imagine if ISIS was being supplied some weapons here in central London in the 21st century. And imagine, brothers and sisters, the outrage. Tommy Robinson in the far right would have come and probably be sleeping outside here uh, just to protest day and night. But when Israel has does this as state terrorism, it's totally fine. It's unbelievable, brothers, it's totally fine. But if ISIS's high headquarters were here, supplying them with the weapons which are killing people, brothers and sisters, imagine in Nazi Germany, imagine in Nazi Germany, Hitler had a, 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 a ammunition factory in the UK uh, supplying them. There would be outright air outrage. And that is the reason why we are here today to show the double standards and the hypocrisy, brothers and sisters. And we thank every single one of you guys who have supported this and get involved, brothers and sisters, inshallah, with whatever you can do in your power. We've been told security told us that they're not here anymore. We don't know. And as we mentioned before, he's doing his job wherever it may be, security here or the police officers, wherever it may be, they have got nothing to do with this. So number 77, if you can see, 77 Kingsway. So the thing is, brothers and sisters, that imagine, just imagine, if we know we had the whole trauma, as Muslims ourselves as well, with ISIS. ISIS killed, killed many Muslims, many Muslims and non-Muslims, yeah? Now imagine if ISIS had a head office here, or if, if not the head office, but imagine that they are manufacturing weapons and they are sending it to ISIS to commit the atrocities against Muslims and non-Muslims. What would the nations do? Let me tell you something, this building, let alone leaving the offices, this building would not exist, yeah? So brothers and sisters, why is it double standards when you have um, state terrorism? Brothers and sisters, go look at the definition of terrorism for killing innocent civilians due to political reasons, brothers and sisters. So the question that we're asking is any rational person, those images that you saw behind in the van of the killing of toddlers, of innocent people being blown into pieces, these offices or these offices were the very place where they were manufacturing these uh, uh, weapons and sending it there, be it drones, be it, I don't know what I other... Think, I think, Ali, yeah, the definitions are very important. 100%. Yeah, if you have ISIS and Hamas that have been labeled terrorist organizations, so for people to condemn them is very easy. But when somebody has not been labeled a terrorist organization, people are a bit, oh, 
so should we, should we not? But it's up to the British government and they should and they have to. It's imperative now that what we're seeing yeah. is just now reaching and it's gone beyond the limit now. <laughs> them to label uh, uh, Israel as a terrorist state and what they're doing is a genocide, genocide and apartheid and also ethnic cleansing, we're going to be telling you that's exactly what's happening and we're going to repeat it until the British government comes on board and joins us. Any last words? No, brilliant. That was a very good point about ISIS and uh, yeah, imagine. just being a, a building that supplies arms to ISIS, yeah. everybody would be here. Yeah. Every day on the front page, the Daily Mail, the yeah. Skies, the BBC. Yeah. Tommy Robinson would buy a house here, but a mansion, he would buy a house right in front of it, just a protest. Brothers and sisters, do check our videos out as well with Mohammed Ijab channel, my channel, different interviews and we went to the BBC, we went to the Israel NBC, watch all of those and give, share it because what's going to happen is they're going to start shadow banning us. Do not, you can do something about it by liking, sharing and we can smash the algorithm.